Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can transform yourself and get the best possible results in all areas of your life. In your work, better relationships with your family, better health, and most importantly, more confidence. And I'm going to share my journey. You see where I am right now, and at this point in my life, I'm at a peak performance state for myself. And I say that because I just finished a 15 mile run and felt like I can keep going for a while, even though my legs are pretty heavy. My cardio is in really good shape, not worn out there at all. Second thing is my relationship with my family is also at a peak level. My wife and I were doing a Bible study yesterday and we just feel very close. We're about to go for a week long vac vacation in Yosemite. Um, and there's just a mutual level of love and respect there that's at a wonderful place. And the last area is my business. My business is booming, such to the point where I recently am no longer taking corporate clients because I wanna focus on my coaching business because the clients that I have that are coaching with me are getting amazing results and it's truly fulfilling. So I don't have to chase money anymore. I'm chasing impact. And finally, my confidence is at an all-time high. Anything I set my mind to right now, I'm achieving. And so the question is, how the heck did I get to this point? And I want to talk about transformation and what it means. You see, transformation does not occur overnight. Transformation is a journey that occurs over a long period of time and compounds over time. And the journey I've been on is one of personal development. One more thing I failed to mention is I've also been sober for two and a half years now, specifically um, sober from several things. I haven't gotten drunk, I haven't smoked pot, and I haven't viewed any kind of pornography, which were three vices that I struggled with for pretty much all my life. And so that's also given confidence. So, how did they get here? Well, it started actually six years ago. It started in 2017, near, nearly six years ago in, in January. I went to a personal development conference. And the reason I went there is because I was in a rock bottom in my career. I had just come off missing quota for the third year in a row. I had tried my hardest, done everything I could think of and I was failing at work. And my entire identity at that point had been wrapped in my performance. So not hitting my numbers for three years in a row was pretty devastating for me. And I was like, I need to get help. And that's kind of been the theme that I'll share with you across this whole journey. But I needed to get help with sales. And so I invested over $20,000. I joined a group called Epic Impact and hired a sales coach and basically went to a bunch of retreats all year and started tapping into eliminating the limiting beliefs that I had. I'd always believed like the most money I can make was around two to $300,000 because that's what I had made. I'd believed that I couldn't, couldn't sell a certain amount. And that whole year, it was all about working on thinking bigger, visualizing, and having a bigger vision for myself. And the number that I ended up thinking about in one of the retreats of what I would sell was $4 million. And I'm not gonna get into all the details of what happened over that year, because I wanna tell you about the rest of the journey, but I ended up selling nearly $6 million ACV that year, finished number one at Salesforce, and made seven figures. The following year, I stayed in that program and I sold another 4 million. So I sold 10 million in ACB in two years, made more money than I ever had, and then had a near-death experience at the end of 2018. And during that experience, I found my faith. I found God and I had a calling. And the calling was, if I die right now, I will have a ton of regret for not helping people. And I decided to start a personal brand and focus on making videos and helping people. And for 365 days from 2019 to 2020, I was making videos and basically 
started a coaching business where I was coaching people on sales and that did very well. And the theme of getting help also arose during that time. You see, I went to a group called Brand Builders Group and had a mentor, Roy Vaden, who helped me build a brand, helped me make better videos, helped me have a website, um, monetize the coaching, and that was going really well. So now I have this uber confidence in myself, my sales, and my personal brand, and as an entrepreneur running a new business. Well, the problem was I was actually neglecting my family. And even though I had faith and I believed in God, I wasn't practicing a godly way of living. And I was actually working all the time. My ego was out of control and I was living with addiction that I was hiding from my family. Well, the shit hit the fan in 2020, February 13th, I hit a rock bottom, which got me into recovery. And at that point I said, I'm going to put the brand on hold. I'm going to stop everything I was doing before with my sales. I even told Salesforce, Hey, I, I, you know, I'm going to lose my family unless I take care of my health. And I put the brand on hold. I, I dropped out of that program that I had been in and I said, I need to focus on my family and I need to get healthy. And what really changed also is I became a Christian. I started studying the Bible and realizing that I had been living for myself. And you can make a choice. You could live for yourself or you could live for others or live for God. And I realized I had been selfish my whole life and I was in denial. I didn't realize that I actually was hurting other people through my addiction. But when I saw the pain I was causing my wife directly through a, through a rock bottom, which I won't get into now because that's a, another story, but that's when I realized I was nothing. Everything I thought mattered didn't matter because inside I was broken. Inside I didn't have a moral compass. I was hiding things. I was lying. I was living a double life. And at that point I got into recovery. I actually started going to 12 step meetings. I got into therapy. I did 90 meetings in 90 days. I came clean to my wife about everything I had been hiding. And I became a Christian and started studying the Bible and really trying to apply how I live my life as a Christian and specifically trying to embody qualities of love and kindness and honesty and integrity into my relationships at home and my relationships with my family. Once again, the theme is getting help, going to getting a sponsor, going to therapy, going to 12 step groups. This was all things that I had to do to break free of the chains that I had been living with, with addiction. And so that journey is still continuing. It really is. But really it went on in 2020 until I got to a very stable place, improved my family. And now my family life is better than ever. It truly is. I spend time with my wife. I have lunch with her every day. We go on date nights. We go on a lot of vacations. They're my priority. God is my priority. Living an honest life and trying to do his will, in which my case, it, I believe his will to be to show up with love and kindness and be a, a good example for people, starting at my home and with my clients as well. Show up with abundance and love. And the joy that comes from that is be better than any joy that money can bring or success in our world can bring. Which leads me to 2021, 2022. I go through recovery and now I'm ready to go out and do my best work. I can focus on my business, help others because of what I've, I've been through. So I join another mastermind, a guy named Sam Ovens coaches me and I actually got back with brand builders focused on scaling and growing my coaching business. And now I could do motivational speaking. I can do coaching. I could do trainings from a place of true abundance and, and not hypocrisy. And so the journey has been six years. My business now in its first year did over seven figures, but that wasn't accidental. You see the nature of transformation is that transformation compounds. I started with sales, moved to my business, moved to family and recovery, and then came back and put it all together in my business. So start with what you need to focus on and let it compound. Thanks.